In the eerie silence of a desolate town, shadows pirouette ominously, weaving an unsettling shroud over the decaying architecture. A lone figure, Sarah, navigates the hushed labyrinth, her footfalls echoing through the void. An abandoned church looms ahead. A rogue gust of wind flings open the heavy wooden door, sending a chill racing down Sarah's spine. Inside, the frigid stone walls appear to constrict, suffocating her in an abyss of darkness. A faint creak echoes from the shadows and Sarah's heartbeat stutters. Fear. A potent motivator propels her deeper into the building, her gaze darting nervously to each darkened corner. Suddenly, a soft moan reverberates from the far end of the sanctuary. Adrenaline surges and she stumbles towards the sound. A gasp of horror escapes her as she rounds a deteriorating pillar. A figure lies prostrate on the icy stone floor, eyes vacant and unfocused. Blood seeps from a gaping chest wound. Terror engulfs Sarah as she recognizes the town's missing priest, Father Michael. Trembling hands reach out, instinctively searching for a pulse. Cold. Panic swells as she frantically scans for an escape, her mind a whirlwind. The door remains ajar, yet it feels a world away. A low growl emanates from the bowels of the church, sending icy tendrils of terror snaking through her. She whirls around, her eyes scanning the obscurity, a pair of crimson orbs glare back from the shadows. A monstrous entity emerges, jagged teeth bared menacingly, its claws flex, poised to strike. Sarah's world slows to a crawl as she scrambles for a plan. A cry of desperation rings out as she snatches up a nearby candle and hurls it at the beast. Flames bloom, illuminating the sanctuary and casting the monstrosity into stark relief. It's a grotesque abomination, its form twisted and malformed. The creature responds with a deafening roar and charges. Sarah narrowly evades its talons and stumbles backward. As she falls, her hand brushes against something cold and metallic. A crucifix. The priest's crucifix. Clutching it with newfound resolve, she thrusts it skyward. The creature recoils, hissing as the holy symbol sears its flesh. Sarah swings the crucifix with all the strength she can muster. It pierces the creature's heart, unleashing a wave of blinding light. A final ear-splitting roar echoes through the church before the monster disintegrates into dust. As the darkness recedes, Sarah stands, both panting and trembling. She's survived the nightmare, but the images of horror will forever etch themselves into her memory. And as she stumbles from the forsaken church, it's clear, this desolate town will never be the same.